hello and welcome to my channel if it's your first time here thank you for stopping by please do consider subscribing and if you're a return subscriber thank you for returning okay guys i bring you all good news today i'll be i'll be talking about uh prophetess rose kelvin briefly prophetess rose, rose kelvin is the founder of uh unveiling the veil ministries in abuja on facebook she goes by rose kelvin ministries and um she wrote on her uh, verified facebook page of how she wants to sponsor the late gospel singers children up to university level when i saw it i was like really so i had to because I, before now i won't lie to you i didn't know about her i've not come across her page before i've not heard anything about her before so i went to browse about her i read her biography and guys if you hear the story behind her bet you will know that indeed god called this one from the from her mother's womb i'm telling you the gospel truth you know you know the pastors of these days especially in this part of the world most of them are not called i'm sorry to say some of them are not even flashed god did not even flash some of them some of them are called while some are flashed while some of them are just there to extort people and this lady in christian is not one of those pastors that goes about extorting from from, from their members asking their members to buy them cars and all of that then but rather her own story is the other way around she goes around doing good she's in fact she's a staunch giver when i mean a staunch giver she's popularly known for her philanthropic work and when I read about this one, I was like, wow. I, I even saw her videos where she's sharing food, helping the poor. She has helped a lot of people start businesses and stuff like that. She's also married. And her husband is also a bishop in a different church. And she wrote on her handle, she said, I have cried my eyes out over the demise of Minister Osina Chinwachiku, the gospel artist, whom I have never met before, but learned on social media that she worked so hard to provide for her family. The more I sob over her demise, the more I see her innocent children in terrible, hopeless situation as their mother, who was their sole provider, is no more. I'm led to grant scholarship to two of these four children children to degree level if possible four of them but i do not know how to go about it i do not know how to go about this because i do not know the woman and her relatives hmm that was good news for me that was a great news for me but on the second hand i was worried for these kids i was asking peter wachiku that does not like good thing yes he simply does not like any good thing because sister Osinachu was everything good. I'm not saying she was perfect, but a woman that worked so hard to provide for the family, she even employed the husband as the manager because the man, the only thing he does was to manage her. Upon that, she was tortured by this man. She, she, she don't even touch the money from the stories. The money goes into the man's personal account. And now she's no more because what the man does is to manage Usinachi. And now Sister Usinachi is no more. What is he going to manage? And I'm asking, this man that is arrogant, is he going to allow this woman to render this help? I was just worried. And guess what, guys? Another good news. In fact, this particular news is the reason why I'm making this video. It's not today that I heard that this woman has offered them scholarship to degree level. No. I'm not just hearing this. The reason why I'm making this is that now I'm happy and I am sure that this woman will have access to the children because the Minister of Women Affairs has intervened. The government has said something and I want us to read the news together. I don't want to tell you that they say, let us read it together so you get to see this for yourself. The heading says, Women Affairs Minister demands justice for late gospel singer O Sinachi speaks with children the minister of women affairs has demanded justice for late gospel singer osinachi Wachuku, who was alleged to have died as a result of domestic violence from her husband the minister tabled the demand in a statement signed by the director of press and public relations olujimi eyetomi after she paid a condolence visit to the family of the late singer at ako estate abuja on monday april 11th 
The Honorable Minister has, after her visit, been compelled to demand on behalf of Nigerian women and mothers for two things. Justice for the late singer, who was alleged to have died as a result of GBV perpetrated by her husband, as well as full protection for the children left behind by the late singer. Even though reports had it that the late singer was hospitalized for throat cancer disease before her death, social media claims would just not go away that she suffered GBV in the hands of her husband. The minister who has asked for a private section with the children of the deceased to disclose that her findings compelled her to make the demands for the justice for her and protection for the children for the things disclosed to her away from prying eyes. Presently, the children of the deceased were being cared for by a family friend, Mr. Sunday Achino, from the church where the late singer worshipped, Dunamis Church. Meanwhile, the minister was accompanied on the condolence visit by her permanent secretary, engineer Olufunso Adebi. <laughs> Members of civil society organization, directors of Federal Ministry of Women Affairs, with protection from security details attached to her excellency's office. The minister's entourage did not meet the late singer's husband, who was disclosed to have been taken into protective custody by the police. But she embraced the children and encouraged them to speak to her and the permanent secretary after she demanded that her entourage should disengage and allow her to have a private section with the children. After her long private section with the children, the Honorable Minister emerged to demand justice for the late singer, stating that even though the extent of allegations and stories on social media should be taken with caution. So my people, this is a very good news. Scholarship for the kids up to degree level and assurance for justice to take course. You know, I like <laughs> if this is swept under the carpet, honestly, this will continue. I just hope justice takes its proper course. On this man and let's continue praying for the diseased children you know and this woman also said they need to be taken to psycho something so i don't know the grandma again and this is actually true because because they they really need to know that that is not a proper way that is not a proper way of handling a wife they need to be taught the right way they need to be taken to where the the the, the trauma they went through will be wiped off their head Anyway, my people, thank you so much for watching. Please, if you haven't subscribed, consider doing that. Thank you.